Hi singing friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Mickey here, your friendly neighborhood vocal coach. It's been a while since I've posted to my channel and that is because I've decided to step away from doing reaction videos for a little while. I just got really burned out on it and I'm really trying to prioritize what brings me joy in my limited time on earth <laughs> and that really just wasn't doing it for me. So I'm going to try to start making videos again and really focus on things that I want to do and hopefully you guys will stick with me as I transition into something different. So one of my acquaintances, friends on social media asked me to show him what my music space looks like. And I thought this might be a fun way to introduce you all to my space and perhaps give you some inspiration to make your own artistic space more inspiring. So I think it is really important to have a space where you're comfortable and you can really be free to allow your creative juices to flow and that really inspires you and allows you to connect with your muse. And obviously that's gonna be a very different style for everyone. <laughs> and maybe you don't know what your style is yet and that's okay. I'm 43 and it's taken me a really long time to understand what I like aesthetically and to have the disposable income to do what I want with my space. And I would encourage you all to really take your time to decorate your space. Um, if you're like me, you want to get everything done right away. I'm very impatient when I start something new, but I think it is really worth it to take your time to really select things consciously and to build a world around you. World building is something that can be very powerful. Um, and so I wanted to show you guys around my space and just show you what works for me. All right, so without further ado, I wanna welcome you to where I teach my music lessons. I have another space where I record, but I'll show you guys that on another day. All right, welcome. So I have the lights off in here and you can see my beautiful Victorian beaded lamp over here. <laughs> This is something that I put together myself. I bought the shade on Etsy and then I bought the base separately. It is a peacock, as you can see. And my style is really maximalist and Victorian. Um, I'm gonna turn the lights on so you can get a better sense here. I live in a split level, so you have to come down the stairs to get into my space. And then this is my piano room here. I would say that it's inspired by kind of Viennese style. I had a piano teacher, Mrs. Lisa Grad, who passed away recently, but she was a really big inspiration for me. And she came from Vienna. And this was kind of the style of her house on the Upper West Side. So she really inspired me. Um, I kind of consider it maximalist Victorian Versailles <laughs> and I love things that have history so this is my piano it is a Playel from Paris which actually was Chopin's favorite manufacturer of pianos and this piano is over a hundred years old I got it at Forte Piano and the owner had to sell it because she was moving back to Australia I love this piano because it has a very dark romantic sound. <laughs> so it's a baby grand and it's got some stickers on the keys because I'm currently teaching a four year old. <laughs> so we are using the color coding method. And then over here, I've got a piece of art that my husband bought me. It's called Cupid's Appeal and he got it from a man who finds old sheet music that's beautifully illustrated and I actually have the piece as well. And I thought that was a very romantic and thoughtful gift. Over here, I've got my miniature paintings. I do little paintings in my spare time. That is a bouquet of flowers. 
some landscapes, a cloudscape, a landscape, and a little bird. Now here's a little bit more of my miniature gallery. <laughs> you can see my totem animals. I can do another video on my paintings at a different time. Here's a little flamingo painting. And I've got this lovely accent wall with wallpaper on it with the cherubs. And then I've got a bookshelf, which I'll probably replace because this is from Ikea, but it's got some music on it and some books I love to read. So I've got all sorts of different titles over here, as you can see. I love rugs. I love keys. So this doormat has a key on it. And then over here, I've got my chinoiserie green little side table. And this is a chair that I got off of an auction. And I just put this little seat cushion on here because it really needs to be reupholstered, but <laughs> I didn't have the time or the energy to do it. This is a little garden that I'm making here. I've got some lettuce growing, <laughs> some random things in the corner. There's a powder room over here. And then I've got my little art desk with all my art supplies is where I do my little miniature paintings. This piece of furniture I got at an auction. It's a beautiful desk with some musical instruments painted on it. And then this little stool, which I reupholstered. I've got this beautiful fiddle leaf fig tree, which is almost as tall as I am, actually taller than I am at this point. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I can't flatter myself and say that I'm taller than this tree. I've got my beautiful Shea Lounge Velvet Fainting Sofa, which I got off of Victorian Trading Company about 10 years ago. And these beautiful velvet pillowcase covers. I believe I got those on Etsy as well. I've got little plants over here that Lita, our housekeeper, takes care of. She's got an amazing green thumb. And then some masks. We got some of these in Africa and some of these in Venice. Here's a print from Venice. This is a print that my father made. He did a whole series on carousels. He used to take us to the Central Park carousel a lot when we were little. This is a mask that my uncle and aunt-in-law gave me from Venice as well. This is the sister piece to the desk. This is a secretary desk. It actually opens up but it's currently jammed, so I'm not gonna to try to open it lest I break it. It's got a little stool that I reupholstered underneath it with the gold velvet. This is my Gibson CL40 custom guitar that Columbia Records gave me. And then this is a faux marble top table that I think I got off of like Amazon or something. It was not particularly expensive, but definitely more affordable than a real marble top table. And then this is a concession to my need to be comfortable. We had a glider that we got rid of that we had gotten for free when I was nursing and it was all dirty and disgusting. So recently I got a new one because they are so comfortable. If you've never had a glider, I highly recommend them. And I'm getting to that age where I'm all about comfort. Um, what else can I show you? Over here is a peacock feather that my best friend gave me and some more plants and the chandelier that I got at an auction. And this is something that I put together the various pieces of. I bought the chandelier itself from Etsy. It's got a little putti cherub on it. And then I bought the canopy and painted it. Um, so I think it goes together quite nicely. We replaced the original light there. And then of course my Emmy Award over here in a place of honor on my piano. This piano needs to be cleaned like, whoa, it's got lots of little fingerprints on it from all of my students. So there you have it, that is my space and I find it very inspiring and relaxing. I love the sumptuous textures and patterns. For me, it doesn't matter that there's a lot of 
clashing, competing colors and styles. Um, I don't mind that it's Victorian and, you know, chinoiserie and all these different styles because for me, I really like having an eclectic style. Um, and I've got some notes for my kids over here and an electronic frame with some pictures of my family and friends. So for me, this is what I find really inspiring. I hope you enjoyed getting a little peek into my creative space. Obviously, it's gonna be very different for you, but I really encourage you as an artist to take ownership of your own space and try to create like a little cocoon where you just feel really safe and can get in touch with your childhood creative energies and nothing will get in the way. Um, for me, I can't really get into the flow of things if I'm not in a space that inspires me and makes me feel secure. So I really encourage you to create something like this that reflects your own personal style. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and let me know if you want more of this content. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.